FKE nadhani wakisema kwamba kuna makampuni ama kuna wa Kenya takriban 1070 ambao ambao wameachishwa kazi kwa katika serikali yako mheshimiwa palikoseka nini haswa pale mpaka mazingira kufanya kazi yakawa magumu kiasi cha kwamba asilimia 384 ya wakenya wanasema kwamba maisha ni magumu na hizi ni takwimu ambazo ziko zaidi ya hamsini kwa mara ya kwanza katika mkenya kusema kwamba maisha ni magumu na pesa haionekani na tukisalia hapo mr president because it's just based on what she said are you aware that 87% of Kenyans your people Mr President that is 9 out of 10 have opted to reduce on personal expenditure because of the current economy watu wana opt kutokula which is what we are talking about uchumi ya tumbo they are forgoing food because of the current um, situation good i want you to read a clip or even a text it was in the standard 10 months after kibaki became president the same number of kenyans said nak and president kibaki had made their life worse than ever because kibaki decided to make the right decisions not popular decisions right 10 months after he was president we are in the same space but let me tell you the following that um, It is true. We are facing a difficult situation. We are facing a difficult situation because that is the global situation. But are we doing something about it? Yes. We are doing something about it. Is it bearing results? Yes, it's bearing results. The price of food is coming down because of our intervention by God's grace. The global economy is appreciating what Kenya is doing let me go to fke fke said 70000 kenyans have, have, have lost jobs or have have gotten out of jobs part of those 70000 kenyans for your information are teachers who are working in private schools who we have hired as government now they are teaching in uh, we have hired 56000 teachers into into uh, as teachers we have hired an additional 120,000 people working in our housing program we have a plan to make sure that we keep increasing we have only 31 31 sites of uh, our housing uh, program we have another 34 that will be rolled out uh, uh, the first quarter of next year by the end of next year we will have between 200 and 250,000 Kenyans working so the economy is adjusting towards where we want to go we do not want to be an export destination for others we also want to produce what what we should be producing Quavo. and that is why we are we are we are working on the difficult patch for now so that we can stabilize the future. Kwa hivyo mheshimiwa rais unakubali kwamba wa, wa Kenya 1070 kweli walifutwa kazi ama walikuwa kazi. Sikubali wao ndio wamesema. Mimi nimekuambia. Na wakaandikwa na serikali. Kumaanisha ni makampuni yaliyo humu pengine yalifunga wakatoka ndio wakaja wakaandikwa na serikali ama hawa walikuwa ni wa kutoka. Waacha sasa nikwambie wale wamesema wale wa, yale wamesema. Mm-hmm. What I have told you is what I can vouch. Mm-hmm. Have I hired 56000 teachers? Yes. Are there 120,000 people working in our housing program? Yes. Mm. So as to uh, what are, what are, uh, on FKE side you need to verify the figures. Uh, Mr. President, Mr. President uh, Sam just uh, one second. You have talked about pain and that Kenyans need to you know appreciate the pain and the process like uh, uh, President Kibaki did. Um and state house and where you sit you set the tone uh, for for whatever government agencies and officers below you do that's correct and you are asking kenyans to be patient you are asking kenyans to tighten their belt but if you look at your administration and state house to, to be specific and other officials look at foreign travel has been up 26% just this um, ending quarter to 1.1 billion and kenyans are feeling quite tough.
taxed. And the hustlers that you represent are looking around the numbers that we are discussing today, and they're wondering, um, where have we missed this? Because on one end, you're asking Kenyans to be, you know, to, 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 to bear with government, to tighten their belts. The Treasury is saying things are bad. You're saying you're preventing us from, you know, going off the cliff. But on the other end, the extravagance in government um, is really still, still heavy. How do you reconcile this to the situation? I will answer you this way. Go and look at the budget. We have cut by 50% the budget for travel and entertainment. 50%. Right? In the supplementary budget, just go and check the figures. That is about 11 billion shillings that we have reduced. Have I traveled more than the, the former presidents? Yes. And I have traveled not as a tourist. I have traveled to sort out the matters of Kenya. If I didn't package the, what I have packaged to salvage our country from going over the cliff, we'd be talking a different story. Would you rather I sit in Nairobi and see Kenya go down, or would you rather I go to America, and America has really supported us in making sure that we structure a, a, a deal with uh, World Bank and IMF? Would I travel to China to make sure that we structure the bilateral deal that will see all our roads come back? Would, would you rather I don't travel or I travel to South Korea to sort out the problem you see in our, in our, in our, in our electricity space? that we now have money to do what the investment we have not done in the last 10 years in our, in our energy transmission. The reason why you find uh, the blackouts, you know, and is the challenge we have with our, 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 our transmission infrastructure. And, and I have found resources to, to now sort, sort that out. So would you rather I sit here or I look for the bilateral agreements that will give Kenyans an opportunity to work abroad and to work at home on uh, digital jobs. Th this is what a president is supposed to do. And I can account for every shilling okay. that I have spent on my travel. And let me say this. On the budget of State House, um, there were so many things around the state house, including the famous NMS. Part of the money that was being allocated to state house was to pay contracts, NMS contracts, and many other things, which I have said must stop. And because I want to lead the way in making sure that we manage what eventually is destroying our country called bending bills, and for your information, we have 506 billion of pending bills, you know? I need to lead the way. That's why I, I instructed staff in State House that State House must be the first one to clear pending bills. Most of the monies that have come here is to sort out NMS and all the other people that were here. And I have said those uh, infrastructure should be transferred to the parent ministries. Okay. State House must deal with State House matters. <coughs> Mr. President, we've spoken about um, three issues. We've spoken about the Kenya shilling and uh, how it's behaving against uh, the major currencies, uh, global currencies. We've spoken a bit of uh, energy and uh, what is happening in the failed sector. We also touched on uh, cost of living. We have so much to cover tonight and I just seek indulgence that we um, can be first in our responses, uh, but also the questions. That question that you say we were on a cliff, dead cliff, and now we are no longer there. Um, recently, you posted on your X account, and you said that uh, the World Bank is giving us two trillion shillings for the next three years. The IMF is giving us over 680 billion shillings. That, in total, is about 2.6 billion a trillion shillings, based on the current exchange rate. Now, part of the reason why our debt is beyond at the ceiling that was of 10 trillion shillings by June last, uh, next year is because of what has happened to the US dollar. If you add what you've gotten from the two uh, global institutions, it takes us to close to 13 trillion shillings already in the next few years. Why then have a debt anchor of 55% uh, to the GDP, which are already busting? For your information, 
and it's a very good question you've asked, most of that money we have negotiated will actually replace. We are getting money at 2 3%. We are replacing it with money we are paying 15 16%. And the biggest, the killer on our debt is the interest, the amount of interest we are paying. It's not even the principal that is a big problem. It is the amount of 